Yeah, hello Divya. Hi sir. Yeah, Divya. So quickly introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm Divya sir. I'm from Karimnagar, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I did my B.Tech in D.C. from Gurunanak University okay. in the year of 2020. And uh, basically, uh, according to my uh, according to my curriculum, I have knowledge about embedded systems and VLSI. But uh, after I learned some technologies like uh, software testing and code Java. Okay. And I have good communication skills. I am easily interacting with people, uh, and and I, I have positive attitude. And coming to my family background, uh, my family consists of five members, including me. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, you mentioned that you are still learning the software testing or you are completed your course. Learning. Yeah. Okay. I completed manual testing and currently learning automation. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Cool. Okay, uh, I can go with some manual and go Java concepts. So, yeah, tell me what is software testing? Software testing is a process. It's a process of executing an application uh, with the intention of uh, finding the defects with quality. Yeah, okay. Okay, what is quality? So quality is uh, nothing but uh, satisfaction of uh, client or user uh, with the yeah, with the actual values are uh, matches with the expected values. Yeah. And within low, within low budget and within the time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You mentioned that you are aware about that concepts like SDLs, software yes. development. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what is software? Just I need a definition. What is software development like? Software development like uh, it explains all the. It explains all the activities in project development. Yeah, okay. And it has some phases like uh, a software meeting, kickoff meeting, uh, project initiation mode, uh, requirement gathering, planning, designing, coding and testing, uh, deployment, and uh, maintenance. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, so in which life cycle testing activities will follow? Testing activities will follow. Okay, development process will follow in an SDLC. Like that, is there any separate life cycle for testing? Yes, sir. Software testing life cycle is separate. Yeah, okay. What is software de uh, testing life cycle? Uh, it is a process. It explains all the activities of uh, testing process. Yeah, okay. Any basis it contains? Yes, sir. It also has some basis like uh, uh, test planning, test analysis. Okay. Test design, test environment, uh, test execution, uh, test reporting, and uh, sign off. Okay. So, okay. Now uh, there is a reporting phase. How many types of reports we have? A reporting phase. Like uh, how you can give the report? Uh, Based on which prospect you can give report? We can uh, find the defect by. Or defect tracking tools. I am asking about that. We are taking two types of reports, like pass and fail. Yes. So how you can see it, it actual, is a pass? If actual values are matching with the expected values. Uh, then there will be positive result. Okay. Otherwise, it will be negative result. Yeah, okay. When you are finding the defects, okay. When you are finding the defects, what can you, what can you do? And is there any life cycle for defect? Yes, sir. Defect life cycle is there. Okay. And also known as the life cycle. Yeah, explain the life cycle. Uh, explain the life cycle. It's a process uh, in which uh, it which uh, will be go through the different stages. Yeah, okay. Uh, it will start from the new. Yeah, okay. If a uh, tester will find uh, any defect, uh, he was started with new state. Yeah, okay. And uh, the, he will send to the developer. Okay. And developer, uh, developer will be analyzed that yeah, if okay. uh, there is a, if there is any defect, yes, he will start. Oh yes, he will start the another state like open. Otherwise, uh, he will um, reject that. Otherwise, if he don't have clarity about that, he will put the whole state. Yeah, okay. Uh, in public cycle, there is a defect. Yes. Okay. When the developer can say it is a default? Default means uh, postpone to uh, next phase. Why you need to postpone? There is a defect, right? Yes. 
Why? Why means based on priority yes based on the priority like uh, if it uh, the defect contains low priority, low priority and simultaneously in that time developer have some extra work in this time we can post okay now like uh, tell me about the difference between bug and defect so you are saying bug and defect you are using yes sir. is there any difference yes sir yeah what is the defect is nothing but test of will find uh, during testing test of will find any Abnormal behavior that is called a defect. Yeah, okay. Uh, the defect uh, will be accepted by the developer. It called it's called a bug. Yeah, okay. So you mentioned that like uh, yeah, okay. What is meant by error now? Error is not nothing but human made mistakes. Uh, that means uh, while developing any project, uh, programmer will find uh, any mistake is called an error. Yeah, okay. No, okay. Now we need to find defect. We are using test scenarios and test cases. Yes. Okay. What is the test scenario and test case? Test scenario is nothing but uh, what to test. And okay. test case is nothing but how to test. Test scenario uh, will have different test cases. No, okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Tell me one uh, example test scenario and test cases. So you can say test. I, I am saying test case scenario is logging. What are the test cases we can you can use? Test scenario. Scenario is logging. What are the test cases for logging? Test cases uh, uh, there is one registration ID and password. Yes, sir. There is a username and password. Yes. Sir. How can you test? What? How to test? So ah, give the test cases. Um, how many uh, characters? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like you need to say valid value. Yes, valid and invalid uh, credentials. So okay. What is meant by positive and negative testing? Positive means uh, positive means uh, valid credential okay. is positive, invalid credential means negative. Yeah, okay, now okay. So okay, what is meant by bug release? Bug release uh, if we find the defect within the testing environment is called a bug release. Yeah, okay. So yes. Test are okay. Defect found by testing environment, but they are releasing to the market based on the low priority. Okay. Now there is another keyword. What is the leakage? Bug leakage. Leakage. Sorry. Bug leakage. Bug leakage uh, is nothing but uh, finding the defect in the user environment. Yes. User acceptance testing environment. Through the user acceptance testing. Okay. Now. Yeah, uh, tell me one example, high priority defect. High priority is nothing but uh, main functionality. Priority is nothing but importance. Uh, it's related to main functionality. That means logging and so yeah, okay. Finally, before uh, entering to the core Java concept, the question is, why, uh, okay, well, but before that, what is regression testing? Regression means uh, checking the Checking the newly added modules are impacting on the existing modules or not. Yeah, okay. Why we are doing these testings? All testings, it's right? Testings to find the defects yeah. and producing quality. Yes. So to satisfy the end user. Yes. yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And coming to the core Java. So let me give the what is the full forms of JDK and JRE and JVM? JDK means uh, Java Development Kit. Okay. JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Otherwise, uh, yes, JDK, JRE, and JVM. Java Virtual Machine. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know about features of Java? Yes, sir. Yeah, key, uh, name them some four, four or five features, key Java, features of Java. Um, Java, uh, it follows, uh, oops. Yeah, okay. Object oriented programming language. Yeah. Uh, that means it follows some principles like abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and uh, encapsulation. Yeah. Okay. And portable, uh, Java is portable language and interpreted multi yeah. okay. and the platform independent, yeah, okay. and architectural neutral, and simple and secure, easy to learn. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah. And Okay, uh, you said that inheritance. Yeah. So, what is that inheritance and what is the use of that inheritance? Inheritance is a con one of the OOPS concepts. Uh, yeah. In this one class, 
one class uh, i created properties of another class what are the class uh, any name the further class uh, parent class and child class okay parent that was child class or child that was parent class parent uh, child that was parent class okay parent class is also known as name sorry child class is sub class parent class is super class super class okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Now, so you said that inheritance. So in inheritance, we are using two types of keywords. One is extends and implement. Yes. Okay. Where we can use extends? Where we can use implements? Implement. Ex extends means, uh, if we put two classes in inheritance, we use extends keyword. Yeah, okay. And implements is uh, when we use the implements keyword, one class interface, one class implements with interface. Okay, interface is there, we are using implements. Yeah, okay, uh, that's fine. So, what is meant by compiled error? Compiled error is the compiled error. Yes, error will be after the, like after the post step. Yes, compiled errors are known as compiled errors. Yes. So, any example for compiled error? Give an example. You, you find any, sorry, you got any for compiled error in your programming? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, very good. Um, okay, uh, we can say when we are giving system dot out dot we are missing the semicolons, mm -hmm. we are missing the braces. Okay, yeah. these are the compiler. Note that. Okay. So that is basic, right? You need to. So you mentioned here very good knowledge in type casting. Yes, sir. Okay, what is type casting? Type casting is nothing but conversion. Assigning the uh, values of one data type to another data type is called uh, type casting. Yes, okay. Yeah, and uh, so what is the difference between arrays and collections? Arrays, arrays one type of data structure yeah, and okay. uh, it stores fixed and similar data. Yeah, okay. And uh, collection is a framework. Yeah, okay. Uh, it provides an architecture to store and update the group of objects. Can I ask one question? Uh, collections, you say, which package it from? Collections. Uh, collections coming from which package? Java. Line. No. So you need to. Uh, so you need to know about that. Java dot util package. Okay. Util package. Um, so as per manual testing purpose, uh, we don't require this much of it. But we need to know when we are following the coaching. Okay. Now, okay. So I am asking two uh, similar, uh, just simple questions. Is Java supports multiple inheritance? No, sir. Why? Because, uh, for example, if two parent classes have same middle name, okay. uh, if we. One child having two parents, that is not possible. That's why it is not possible in Java. Yeah. Now, tell me we have a arrays. Why we are coming to the collections? So, collections is update process of arrays. Mm -hmm. So, what is the disadvantage in arrays? Arrays means uh, memory. Conjunction is more. Yeah, okay. Yes. Fixes. So you need to say fixes. Okay. So finally, two questions uh, I need to ask them. So, like, uh, can we override the may final method? No. So in Java, no. Why? Because final is a, so it is a final, complete. So, okay. So the final question is so, are you aware with the, like, uh, working with any ship? Yes. So why you choose like uh, comparing to the developing sector? Why you choose testing? I am interested to. Yes. So you should say like uh, based on your analytics. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So based on your resume, it is a full of like core job and manual testing. Yes. Okay. Uh, for automation as well, I am asking some like uh, why? Uh, so which programming language you are using in your automation? Same. Sorry. Tools. Tools. Java and tool is Selenium. Why Selenium? Selenium is open source. Okay. So you know any commercial tool? QTP. Okay. You know any knowledge about QTP? No, sir. Okay, that's fine. So okay, we are actually using Selenium to do today. Okay. You know about Selenium soon? Yes, sir, somewhat. Yeah, okay. Uh, Name the name. Like how many are there? You know, like uh, any idea? Selenium. Suit. So you can say components are suit. 
Yes, yes. Okay, okay. That's fine. Right. So this is our disposition for mainly manual testing. So okay, yeah, that's fine. Right. So we have a code suits you need to know. So IDE and RC and we have never had green. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's all of my my side. Okay. If you have any questions, like uh, just HR will contact you. Okay. Thank, thank you, Divya, for your time. Thank you, sir.